What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. This week's shoutout goes out to Scale Garage, who in my previous video had left a comment asking me to review my Audi A6. And I listen to my fans, so this one's for you, dude. And since I've only been reviewing supercars for the last couple of months or so, even though this is a channel also meant to review luxury cars, I realized reviewing the Audi A6 will be a welcome change of pace. What's also interesting is that this isn't just the first estate or station wagon, but also the first Mini Champs model that I'm going to be presenting on my channel. As you can see, it comes in this white and grey dual colour packaging. It's almost like a dealer edition. You can see it says here Audi Mini A2 one. And then over here, it says Audi A6 Avant, 4 GmbH, Ingolstadt. Over here at the back, we have a little bit of text in German explaining what the A6 is all about. So you can pause the video and read it if you want to. And then down here, we have the Mini Champs logo, which is also known as Paul's Model Art, and a couple of legal guidelines. All right, let's get this model out of its box. So the Audi A6, as you might know, is bigger than the A4, and smaller than the A8. It can best be compared to the E-Class of Mercedes, or BMW's 5 or 6 series. This is the third generation of the A6, also known as the C6, which came out in 2004 and was manufactured until mid-2011. The biggest visual difference to its predecessor, the C5, is that the C6 came with the single frame grille. Because on the second gen, which is the C5, the front bumper split the grille in two parts. Now, each German car manufacturer calls their station wagon in a different way. BMW calls theirs Touring, with Mercedes it's T-Model, and with Audi it's the Avant. Now, I got this car for roughly... 13 euros or something about two years ago. I think I bought it off CK Model Cars. Um, this black one has gotten a little bit more rare, but the silver one is still available and for roughly the same price of around 12, 13 euros. So, I mean, for this price, it's really a steal. It's got a lot of details, and in this video, I'm going to show you all these nice little details. So, let's get started. So taking a look at the front of the Audi A6 event, you can see that Mini Champs went to a lot of trouble in replicating this chrome grille, the front grille. And you can also see that we have the four rings of Audi on the grille. But what's really cool is that they're actually raised and three-dimensional. 
even on this tiny 143 scale model. So that level of detail is really cool. To the left you can see that it says Quattro on a separate badge. And further down we have the license plate, including a small D symbol for Germany and the stars of the EU flag above it. And it says BAL32. That little crest in between the B and the A, I think, is the emblem of one of the states of Germany. Although it's so tiny, I cannot make it out. So here at the front of the car is probably also where you can see the weakest part about this model, which is the fact that on the headlights we have a big plastic peg. And that, of course, ruins the look of the headlights, in my opinion, because I feel like the C6 Audis really had the best looking headlights. I mean, all the modern Audis are like very sharp and angular. But these headlights were really like the pinnacle of beauty and sort of roundedness. Apart from the peg, though, I mean, you still do find some details in the headlights. And you can see that beneath the headlights, we have the very faintest hint and indication of the headlight washers. The paint is too thick, so you can't really see their outline that well. Further below, we have chrome bars. And even further below that, we have the uh, like side grills. And here you can actually see that we have a separate light, which looks pretty cool. And here we are at the side of the Audi A6 Avant. And you can see, of course, here the estate wagon shape of this model. So it has more luggage space at the back compared to a four-door sedan. And um, what I really like about this particular Mini Champs model are the wheels. I mean, you can see that the rims have this sort of um, brushed aluminum look to them. And of course, they have six spokes. And you can see the Audi logo in the middle, which is really nice. Level of detail for a 143 scale car. You can also see the five lug nuts that surround it. And then we have a silver indicator at the side, as well as a silver keyhole for the doors. So, lots of small details like that. The only thing that's disappointing, of course, is that the driver's side and the passenger side windows do not have like raised window glass, which is actually something you can expect in 143 scale models to be the norm except for like the very budget ones like Ixo and Altaya. So I was kind of disappointed that Mini Champs made a model without those windows. But I mean, other than that, it looks pretty cool. And over here at the top, you can see these rails where you can secure your luggage on the top of the vehicle. Although on mine, they're not like perfect. And you can see that there's a little bit of a, a problem right there with the paint on one of them. But yeah, and here we are at the back of the Audi A6 Avant. And you can see this has the typical station wagon door in the way that it would like swing up. But of course, on this 143 scale model, nothing opens. What I do like, however, on this 143 scale model is the level of detail on the taillights, because you can see that not only do they have no pegs like the headlights did. So here we don't have any pegs. And on top of that, we actually have a really nice taillight texture on them, and um, it almost looks like they're glowing and turned on, so that's kind of really cool. The Audi logo on the back is unfortunately not photo etched like it was on the front, it's just a print. And below we have the same license plate, and then on the left side it says A6, and on the right side it says, and this is really hard to read, but it says 3.2 Quattro. So this is an all-wheel drive. The 3.2 stands for a 3.2 liter V6 petrol engine. And considering this car only has around 250 brake horsepower, the top speed of around 250 kilometers per hour and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration in about 7 seconds is quite impressive for an estate wagon. Further below, you'll notice that we have two chrome-tipped exhausts. And here you can take a look at the boot area, and you can see that it has this privacy cover, as well as a windshield wiper. 
And now let's take a look at the interior of the Audi A6 Avant. So you can see that we have a decent amount of detail here despite the small size. We have a dashboard in the middle, and it has like vents and a little bit of silver detailing. We have a um, wood veneer pattern here on the passenger side. And then we have a six speed gearbox right there with the gear shifter. And from here, you can also see the instrument cluster with the speedometer and rev meter back there. And if we take a look at the seats, you can see that this is a tan interior, so we've got beige seats, and um, they actually have a nice level of detail to them. You can see like the pattern on the seats and everything. So it looks pretty nice for the scale. Let's check out the driver's side. So checking out the driver's side of the Audi A6 Avant, you can see that we actually even have the four rings of Audi on the steering wheel, as well as a silver trim, which is really cool. Other than that, um, there's not much else to see here. But yeah, I mean, you can also see that there's like a vent over there at the passenger side. And here's another look at the interior. So yeah, pretty cool. And here's a look at the bottom of the Audi A6 Avant by Mini Champs. And you can see that the level of detail here is actually very impressive because we have the exhaust system painted in matte silver, and it's even got a depth to it. You can see that it says Made in China, Paul's Model Art, Mini Champs, Audi A6. Doesn't say the scale though, but I mean, it's really impressive. All right, guys, I hope you like this review of the Audi A6 Avant in 143 scale by Mini Champs. And if you're interested in a couple of other Audi reviews, feel free to watch them here. For example, the Audi R8, the Q7, or the A8. And I'll catch you in the next episode. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.